What if the Earth had no mountains, just seas, oceans and vast uninterrupted plains? Of course, thanks to erosion and gravity, some mountain ranges, such as the Appalachians, have been shrinking for millions of years. Meanwhile, other peaks, such as Everest, are still growing because of plate tectonics. But if all tectonic activity ceased, the Earth's uplands would eventually become lowlands. We know this because it almost happened before. In 2021, a team of researchers led by Ming Tang from Peking University reconstructed a history of the average thickness of the Earth's crust on every continent. They discovered that between 0.8 and 1.7 billion years ago, mountain building slowed thanks to the existence of a supercontinent called Rodinia that minimized the number of tectonic collisions. This period has been nicknamed by some scientists as the Boring Billion, and not just because of the lack of mountain biking and sledging. Mountain erosion helps transfer essential gases into the atmosphere and nutrients into the seas and oceans. With more limited erosion, the evolution of life itself may have slowed down, although there is some debate about how boring this period really was. Today, according to Tang's reconstruction, the planet is particularly bumpy, and the biggest bumps have the biggest impacts on our weather and climate. More Sinram in India is the wettest place on the planet. Every summer, moist winds from the Bay of Bengal converge over the Khasi Hills where More Sinram is perched. As the humid air rises over the slopes, it cools, condenses, and dumps almost 12 meters of rain to the town each year. All that rain must go somewhere. Hills and mountains act as giant water towers, slowly releasing rainwater and glacial meltwater to help sustain densely populated lowlands. It's no coincidence that roughly 5% of the world's population live in this area, the catchment for several major rivers. Conversely, the sparsely populated Gobi Desert sits in the Himalayan rain shadow. The Gobi is hot in summer and freezing in the winter. Whilst the Himalayas prevent rain from moving north, they also act as a barrier to cold weather moving south. According to a computer simulation in 2010 by William Booz and Shiming Kuang, the Himalayas help insulate continental India from Central Asia's winter chill. This Himalayan protective shield allows India to heat up quickly during the spring and early summer, making it a powerful heat source and triggering rising air and heavy rains from June to September. In their simulation, removing the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau resulted in a cooler dry season and a much drier, wet season for the subcontinent. As well as blocking rain, mountains can perturb high-altitude wind circulations such as jet streams. Flatter and faster jet streams could lead to stronger storms in the mid-latitudes. In the tropics, various studies suggest that a smoother planet would also have consequences on ocean circulation. These changes in how the wind and oceans transport heat around the world would cause some places to become drier and some to become wetter. But in general, we'd end up with a more uniform temperature and rainfall distribution across the globe. On a smaller scale, we'd lose some of the weird and wonderful weather phenomena that are often experienced downwind of hills and mountains, such as the snow-eating fern effect and flying saucer-shaped clouds. The weather on a smooth planet might be easier to predict, but it would be a less interesting world to live in. Just ask those microbes and algae who lived through the boring billion. Thank you for watching this video about how the Earth's weather and climate would change if its hills and mountains were flattened. It sounds like a boring planet to live on, doesn't it? Let us know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this, you'll be able to find more hypothetical videos in our What If playlist. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Met Office Learn About Weather channel so you don't miss our latest videos.